More drama is set to kick off in the Love Island villa during Monday night's episode, as Gemma Owen comes to blows with Ikan Su Kulkulalu. Following a conversation in which Dami Hope tells Gemma Shush is probably more open to having her head turned than partner Luca Bish, Ikan Su was quick to relay the information back to the other islanders. But blasting the 27-year-old actress, Gemma exclaimed that she had no right to say that as the pair come to loggerheads. During the episode, Gemma, Ikan Su, India Pollack and Dami are relaxing outside having a chat. Jesting he can read minds as a party trick, Dami attempts to read Gemma, guessing, you're happy with Luca right now. I feel like it would take a lot for your head to turn but there is a small chance that it probably could if someone really came in that was 100% I feel like that is where the confusion would probably come for you because we're not here to play games. I feel like you're still open in a sense, probably more open than Luca. An impressed Gemma agreed with Dami, replying, yeah, that was quite impressive. I don't think you're that far wrong. Despite Dami's suggestion that the conversation should stay private, Ikan Su then relays the information to Paige Thorne and Jack O'Neill, saying she was surprised by the comment. As Jack brings the reading to Luca, gossip circulates and returns to Gemma, who is fuming that Ikan Su has spread the word, asking is that AF asterisking joke? You have started this, you've made drama over nothing, says Gemma as she confronts her. Continuing, you had no right to say that and knew that was going to cause s asterisk asterisk, as Ikan Su replies that it's not a big deal. Telling the dressage champion to relax, Ikan Su gets Gemma even more riled up, who hits back, you can drop a bomb and then tell me to f asterisking relax. And as Gemma and Luca could be set for their first bump in the road, it's trouble in paradise for some of the other islanders too, as Jay Younger quizzes Paige on her feelings. Admitting that HES getting mixed signals from the paramedic, the Edinburgh native explained, I won't lie, this morning when I woke up I was feeling a bit of mixed signals. If you say you're open to getting to know me, cool, but obviously last night I saw you and Jack had a moment together and I thought maybe it's just a bit too late for me. While Paige explained that she doesn't like to be in the middle as she awkwardly attempts to juggle both Jay and Jack, later pulling Jay for a chat again, Paige explains, you said you'd rather me be direct so, leaving Jay wondering what she will say next. As she once again finds herself at the center of the drama, Ikan Su has questions over her own feelings during the episode, as she wonders if there's unfinished business between her and former flame David San Clemente. Chatting to Dami in the kitchen, she admits, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what it is, but there is some sort of chemistry with David. Every time we're together, it's weird, something happens. Pushing for a reunion, Dami replies, you probably had better chemistry with David then, no? Than what you had with Jay but obviously Jay just gave you the things that you want. The things that David never did, because it was too early, but maybe if I had waited it could have worked, I keep thinking that, but it's too late now, wonders Ikan Su. Despite what's looking to be a tumultuous evening, the islanders are given a blue party to blow off steam, as they get glammed up for the evening.